Hi everyone. So today I thought to do a totally different kind of video where I talk about all of the products that are clogging up my drawer in my bathroom. These are mainly skincare products. Um, there's some sunscreens and deodorants in here as well. So I thought that I will go through each thing, talk about what I like and what I don't like. Um, because I just have had things mounting up for over the years and I'm sure there are some things something or some things in this video that you have either thought about buying or like is on your radar or whatever and you want to hear if it's actually worth the money or not so I will go through each thing as quick as I can um yeah um this is like there's just so much stuff so okay um starting with the sunscreen this is a Vichy uh this is like a chemical sunscreen I say chemical because it's not just natural like zinc um, 30 SPF. I really like this for face. It's a very lightweight texture and um, yeah, it's just really good if you have sensitive skin and you want something that's light that you can wear all day and like even put under makeup. I, I find this is one of the best ones I've ever tried. Um, I really recommend it. So yeah, definitely try that. Um, okay, so I have this unopened box of uh, Neostrata Glycolic Renewal. If you have acne scars, fine lines, dark spots, um, basically like anything going on with your skin, glycolic acid is the best way to remove it in my opinion. I used to have really bad acne scars and I found that I really, really like this. I only have this in the box because I have had so many of these. I also have this one, which I haven't got to using even though it's like so old. Um, just because I have had like rosacea going on and sent some skin sensitivities over the last year or so so i've really like pulled back on my product usage and that's kind of why things are mounting up but otherwise this is an amazing product this uh, neostrata glycolic renewal cream um okay i just cut so much stuff everywhere so this is the tatcha rice polish I think this is supposed to like resurface your skin like microdermabrasion kind of I don't really understand this product like honestly to me it doesn't seem like it it scrubs anything like I really don't understand I would say if this is supposed to clean your skin I think it does a really good job at that because it really like suds up why isn't it showing um so it's just a powder it's literally uh ground up rice like that's what this product is um i think it's expensive i don't know if i would go buy it i have really sensitive skin so when i've used it it has bothered my skin but for normal people it probably is fine but yeah i i just like don't really understand this product and i i'm kind of confused <laughs> um okay so this l'oreal uh sublime bronze bronzer bronze uh this is a really good uh self tanning lotion uh i really like it it is like probably not very good for you because it has chemicals in it which i don't like and that's why i don't use it too much but if i do want a bit of a tan and i don't want to go in the sun this product works really well it is very cheap and um i really recommend it it's like never streaky on me i have the medium and it just seems to work really good. It kind of stinks like chemically though. I don't, like, I don't really like that. Um, oh, this is a product that I recently got. This is a natural um, sunblock. It is zinc and like coconut oil, shea butter. Um, I think it was like $25 at Shoppers Drug Mart. And I really like it. It's a stick. So I just like go like this on my face. If you do apply quite a bit, it does get oily. Um, if I have it on too long, it will clog my pores, but that's um, like me saying that. I have like extremely sensitive skin. My, pore, my pores clog and react to everything. So, but I do think that it's not too greasy in terms of what it is, I guess, if that makes any sense. Like I still will wear this if I have to. Um, I do really like it and it's natural. There's no chemicals, so it's really good. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. Um, I have this Glycomed hand lotion. Um, this is like if you have extremely dry skin, it's a very like 
almost like waxy kind of like glycerin type moisturizer. It really coats and like locks in the moisture. Um, I really recommend this. It's cheap. Um, I think you can get it almost anywhere. It's really good. I have this Neostrata all-in-one facial cleanser. Um, this is like a milk, does that make sense, a milk or a cream, a lightweight cream. Um, it says no rinse. I would usually use this with a cloth and like put it on the cloth and then like kind of just like rub my makeup off like that because if you just use this with your hands, there is no sensing and you're not going to remove anything. Like it will not get rid of anything. You definitely need a cloth. Um, but yeah, it is gentle and does not irritate your skin at all. It's not drying, so that's good. Um, deodorants. Okay, so I lately have been wearing and using a natural deodorant. So, uh, meaning no aluminum and no chemicals. This is the Green Beaver Company Citrus uh, Deodorant. I love this. It smells phenomenal. It smells so good. Um, I'm like out pretty much and I need to go buy more because now that I'm out I've been using this kind which I have had for a while this live cream <laughs> live cream live clean sparkling citrus and the crappy thing about this one is it's like so dry that when you go to put it on your skin it like tears like tugs at your skin like you cannot just nicely glide it um so I have to run it under hot water to get it to be like applicable Whereas this is, uh, is like smooth on its own. You can like easily rub it in. Like <laughs> you can easily apply this one. This one's really good. And I think this one, uh, protects you from odors better than this one. This one doesn't really seem to do its job at all. I really just don't recommend it. But this one is really good. And this one says 24 hours, which like is total you know, BS. <laughs> but I mean, I think that's kind of like a thing where at least this one says like, oh, 24 hours. This one does not promise that. So I, no. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to tell you guys the world's best daytime moisturizer, especially if you have sensitive skin. Like I'm not kidding. I have been through so many products and I've been suffering like with some sort of skin issue. You can't really tell. I think there's a natural filter on my camera filming. I mean, you can kind of, you guys see it's like inflamed. I don't know. I actually have no makeup on except for ma uh, mascara. Mm, I don't know if you can tell. This is the only thing that is not bothering my skin lately. This is the L'Occitane, L'Occitane, I think is how you say it. Uh, aqua gel. This is insane like in terms of how amazing it is. It's lightweight. There is no nasty oily residue, nothing. It can go under your makeup or whatever. And especially with having to wear masks, like this is just the best. It's so lightweight. It does not irritate my skin. I'm telling you anything I put on my skin right now burns like fire. I don't know what's going on with my skin. It never used to be that way. It's just a thing in like the last year. Um, and this is actually the only thing I'm putting on my face right now. So it's actually insane that I even have all of these products in my drawer. Like, it's just really ridiculous. But yeah, so this, you cannot go wrong. Uh, I think the L'Occitane products are amazing in general. I really like them. Um, okay, so I have this Neostrata Acne Clear stuff. I used to really have a lot of acne. This is salicylic salicylic acid in it, 2%. Um, this is a really good uh, cleanser. It foams up really good. It's good if you have acne. It will dry out your skin though, um, which I know can like create more acne. I know, I know. I don't need to hear, hear about it in the comments. I know. Um, but also this one too is a salicylic acid facial cleanser. This is IS Clinical. Um, this, I would say the difference is First off, there's a price difference. This is like $50, $60 or something. And this is, I think, $30 or $35. This one, I would say, is like slightly more gentle. It doesn't foam up as much, maybe. But maybe it's also because I use less when I'm using it. But I have had this since last October. I do use it quite often. And as you can see, there's a lot left. 
because you only use the tiniest amount. This I think is more foaming and a little bit harsher. I mean, it's still an amazing product, but if you don't want to spend the money, definitely get this. There's nothing wrong with this. If you don't care about money, I mean, get this. <laughs> Why not? Um, okay. Vichy. I used to love Vichy. Uh, this is the Aqualia Thermal. I used to use this quite often as a facial moisturizer. So I got it recently again because I was being cheap and I was like, I was using this and then I ran out and I, where I live, I, they don't sell this. So I have to either order it online or go to Vancouver to get it. Um, or actually, sorry, I realized. <laughs> so still, I have to like drive half an hour to go get it. Um, so I was being cheap and lazy and I was like, oh, you know, I'll just get this Vichy. I used to buy this all the time and I loved it. It never bothered my skin. So I go to get it. I go to put it on. Okay. I don't know what is going on with my skin. This is like fire to my skin. And this is a product I used to love. So if you don't have sensitive skin, this is a really good product, but it does have a light fragrance and maybe that's enough to set my skin off because I cannot handle this at all. I use it now as a hand moisturizer because I just don't want to waste the product. But yeah, I mean, it sucks that, whatever, whatever. Um, okay, so this Complex 15, this is a really good, um, I think even with my skin now, I mean, I haven't used it for a while, but I don't think it was bugging my skin. I don't think it bugs my skin, even though my skin's extremely sensitive right now. This you can buy at like a drugstore usually. It's like $12. It's a very lightweight moisturizer. Uh, basically same kind of thing as I feel this does. This is just better. If you want something that's really lightweight, going to fully absorb, leave no residue, um, kind of morning kind of thing like daytime. Uh, this is like nothing that's gonna get rid of wrinkles. It's just like if you have dry skin and you just, you just need that little bit of moisture. This is a really good one. This is complex 15. Um, I also got a little sample of this same aqua Vichy aqua Aqualia thermal. I can't use it. Every freaking thing irritates my skin. Same with, I got this. I can't use it. I mean, I don't know if I've tried, but I am afraid. Why doesn't it focus? Cause every single thing bothers my skin right now. Um, okay, this all-in-one night serum, this retinol serum from Neostrata. Why did it focus and then go away? That's weird. There we go. This is a really great product, again, if you have aging, if you're aging, um, you have, like, lines and wrinkles or whatever. This is really good, but retinol, I think, well, most things. I cannot use right now. It's like fire to my skin. So that has been sitting and that's why so many products have been mounting up is just my skin is like crazy right now. Okay. Um, I have this progesterone cream. I did a video on hormones a while back for you guys. Um, I have like battled with hormonal issues most of my life thanks to the birth control pill. So if you're young and you are on the pill, get the heck off of it is going to destroy your hormones for life. The hormones in birth control pills are synthetic, so you are basically teaching your body to count on synthetic hormones instead of making and using natural hormones, which it should be doing and balancing on its own. It is being balanced or whatever with synthetic hormones. Complete like train wreck for your body. Get off of them. They will destroy your health. <laughs> Um, so that's why I take this. Um, I just put a blob a day. It like helps to regulate my hormones. And when you think about how a tiny little pea size amount can affect your hormones and you can notice it in like two days, like I swear to God, just think what is, what is happening to us when we're putting like this, this stuff with the chemicals all over our body, right? What is that doing to our hormones? What is this? What is that doing to us? Like we have to think, uh, we have like everyone's getting cancer nowadays. Like why? There's multiple reasons. All the chemicals we're lathering, like slathering all over our body every day are a huge reason for it. 
among many other things. But yeah, think about that. One tiny little thing of this affects my whole body, my health, my hair growth, everything. And so what is it doing when it's chemicals? What is it doing? Um, okay, I have some of this Evian water. This is literally just water. I got like a two pack a long time ago. I think for two of these it was $16. It is literally just water. And, but I would say, especially if you live somewhere hot or if you're traveling somewhere hot, it's very refreshing to spray your face with this. I got it initially for flying on planes because the plane cabin is very dry. And I used to love to pull this out and like, oh, just like hydrate and like refresh myself. It felt so nice, especially on a plane. I think you start to feel like gross. Like, I don't know if you guys, like it would just be so nice if you could, like I used to bring facial wipes and like wipe my face and just stay like fresh and clean and like spray this instead of starting to feel all like nasty and oily and Ugh, I don't know. I don't like it. Um, I have this vitamin E cream. I swear to God, I've had this for, I don't even know how many years, like 15 years. I didn't even know I still had this. This is crazy. Um, I don't even know what to say about it because I like don't even use it and I don't know how it works. Um, quit your itching. This is like a natural cream for itchy skin. If I do want to wear aluminum deodorant. I will use Dove Unscented. It's my absolute favorite. Um, I think it works really good. And the reason I go for unscented is because I have, like I have this cucumber kind. I think when this mixes with your natural like odor, when you start to sweat or whatever, I don't know what goes on. This starts to smell like cat piss. Like it's so gross and it makes your clothes stink and nasty. Whereas this makes no scent and so much better. <laughs> um, I have some Tom's fluoride free toothpaste. I do not use fluoride. I do not want my pineal gland clogged among many other health issues. <laughs> um, please switch to a natural toothpaste. Fluoride is not good for us. Um, okay. I also have this life choice pro just what is it? Pro Dressed Liposome Cream. I ran out of this. Oops. I ran out of this one day and it was like back ordered on Amazon or something. I don't know. So I went to the natural health food store and I asked for this kind of Pro Dressed Cream and um, she gave me this. I use this. This did not seem to be working, but it is actually a moisturizer. Like I think you can just put it on your face. It seems like it's more of an estrogen cream. Like, I don't really know. I don't think it's bad. I think it works actually really good as a moisturizer. I'm just, I was not noticing the benefit. I didn't notice it to work as well as this. This, I know it works because like, I can start using it and if I, if my hair is falling out or something because of hormones, this will like stop my hair from falling out. This is insane, it works so good. Whereas this one, I just, I didn't really notice anything going on. Um, okay, I have this vitamin C powder. I got this from a FabFitFun box a long time ago and I can't really use it because my skin is just so sensitive, but I would say it did seem really strong and I, I'm sure this does work good. The only thing is like, it's just a powder. So it's just kind of a strange application. Like I guess you mix it with some water or what I would actually do is mix it with some moisturizer. I mean, I don't really know if you're supposed to do that. It says with any of your favorite cosmetics, like their brand cosmetics products, and apply it to face. Yeah, it's just exorbic acid. To be honest, this is literally the same as a uh, vitamin C pill. You could go into your uh, vitamin cabinet and crush up your vitamin C tablet and put it on your face. It's the same. <laughs> This I also got in a Fab Fit Fun box. This is a uh, Nassif MD. He's that like guy on. What show is he on? The Doctors maybe? Is he on The Doctors or like? I don't know. He's on one of those shows. Anyways, um, these are detox pads. They have like salicylic acid and well, glycolic acid, anyways, and lactic acid. So they're supposed to renew your skin. 
I would say the application is very nice, how it's just a pad. So you wash your face and then you use the pad, the wipe. And um, yeah, I like them. I thought they were good. I don't really know the price, so I, I don't know how to gauge like if I would purchase these or recommend them. I guess the price would have to factor in. But they are convenient, I would say, and I, I think that they work good. I don't know. They seem fine. This is a horrible product. I really need to throw it out. I hate this product. This is Annabelle Moisturizing Eye Makeup Remover Wipes. These are like the oil ones. Don't ever get the oil ones. They're disgusting unless you want oil like all over your face. I mean, maybe some people are into that. I don't know. I hated it. It's disgusting. Like I would have to, I would use these and then I would have to like wash my face again like three times over to, just to get rid of the oil. So no. I have like some some old saline mist because I've had, and maybe you can even tell by the way I talk. I mean, it really bugs me when I play back my videos, but I have, I have like a clogged nose. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell. Basically my whole life, I've just suffered with like sinus issues. So I have some nose stuff. Um, I have like old dog toothpaste. This needs to go. I don't have a dog and I haven't had a dog for two years. So, um, yeah, that needs to go. I mean, I also have some sort of topical treatment for dogs, like injuries or something. Isoderm, like, I don't know. Why do I have so many weird products? These, this needs to go. I have a Glam Glow sample. I, I got something else from Glam, Glam Glow. Why is that so hard to say? Um, from Sephora and I tried it and it really, I didn't like it at all. Bug my skin. I gave it to my sister. I don't like Glam Glow. <laughs> I don't like glam glow products. Um, I cannot believe how expensive they are and how like the reviews are pretty good. And when you read the ingredients, like they're not even good products. I don't know why people are buying this. I purely think it's off of marketing. I think that they market very, very well. I don't even like this. Like I'm throwing it out. I don't care. I remember putting it on my skin or the one I gave my sister. I just irritated the hell out of my skin. I don't like it. Um, what have I not mentioned? Like I got some Burt's Bees hand salve, like for really, really dry skin. This stuff is really like greasy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this is actually a really good product. This is Xeracom. Is that how you'd say it? Xeracom, Xeracom. Um, if you have really dry, this is actually what I started using when I first had my like skin kind of rosacea, acne, inflama inflammatory <laughs> breakout go on this actually was very soothing to it it is like greasy though I would say it didn't bother it though so if you do have something going on and you need like moisture because my skin used to actually be really quite flaky too it's actually it's quite better it's quite a bit better now um it says for areas prone to intense itching I would really recommend this if you have sort some sort of like skin thing going on it's really small but it's like thin and kind of oily so you really don't need a lot I really like this what's this brand uh, Avene Avene Ooh, Samale Avene hopefully that's right um everything is like everywhere I actually filmed this like earlier but I had a nasty looking dirty makeup cloth sitting there and it was disturbing me so much when I watched the playback. I got rid of it and I am now refilming this video. So now, instead of everything in the drawer, I already have everything laid out because I actually went through everything. <laughs> Total piss off. But um, I also have this sample of this Clinique. What is this? Take the day off. I don't like this. This is like really oily. I mean, I don't really know why I need it. I really need to stop. Like, I just need to stop. Like. I think I have some sort of hoarding tendencies. This is very problematic. This is a natural, this brand actually is a local brand, um, Hodges Herbery. 
It's just a natural lavender moisturizer. It's very nice. It smells amazing. Why can't I open it? It's very soothing. Very nice. And then they also make an Arnica cream for like sore muscles, which is good. I have some hand sanitizer. Oh, I got this. This is um a sample I got from Sephora. This, how do you say this? Kadale? Kadali? I don't know. I actually like this. This doesn't irritate my skin, even though my skin's crazy right now. So it must be a very good product. <laughs> That's basically how I gauge things now. Um, yeah, it's a radiant serum. I actually really recommend it. I don't know the price, but I think it was really good. And um, I have some super floss. This is like if you need to get in. See, I have a retainer inside my mouth behind my teeth. And this is like how I am able to floss my teeth. <sighs> I think that's everything. Like I have some toothbrushes. I'm sure you don't care. I have some random earplugs in here. Like it's just really a lot of mess. Like I have floss that I can't even pass through my teeth. So I don't know why I have it because the only floss I have is, or that I can, oh my gosh. The only floss I can even use is this like glide kind this 3d white if you have really tight teeth like me um you need to get this because it's the only kind that will go through my teeth this stuff just gets stuck in my teeth and it sucks and then i have like polysporin sporin. Sporin. this is like a sample i got from this cal calendula cream this is actually really nice so i went to a med spa asking about the vampire facial and because I have like this redness going on, they wouldn't do it. But she's like, oh, try this cand candle calendula cream and see if it helps. And actually, I mean, it's pretty good. I should keep using it because I stopped for some reason. Yeah. And I think that is it. Did I talk about, did I talk about this? This, the essence? I feel like, I, did I talk about this? I'm losing my mind. Anyways, if I didn't talk about it, I mean, I've had this for a long time. I haven't used it all. I did stop using it. I, I don't know why I stopped using it. I think it's just because I don't really know if it's doing anything. It's like $100 for this bottle. And honestly, you really wonder if it's just water, <laughs> basically. So, I mean, it's supposed to soften your skin. I think it does soften it. I don't know. It just, I don't know. I think it's maybe a placebo effect. That's how I feel. So I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know if it's a bad product or a good product. I'm just very like, I just really don't know if you're a really rich person, like, sure, go get it. Fine. <laughs> um, I think I covered everything. So thank you so much for watching this video. And um, if you like it, please click like, please click like it will really um, help to make it so people can see my videos because like nobody is seeing them. I am in the basement of the basement of the basement of YouTube. And I don't even think anyone knows I exist. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, please subscribe. Also, if you are new to watching me, by the way, my name is Danielle. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.